How many times have you seen a homeless person on the streets with their dog and then immediately assume that they shouldn't have a pet? That's exactly what motivated a Bay Area woman into action, not to take the pet away, but to make sure the animals are healthy. But first, this week's Jefferson Award winner had to change her way of thinking. Once a month, across from the Berkeley Animal Shelter... Terrible ears. Apparently, the dog was being attacked by another dog. Jill Posner's volunteers open up a van full of pet medicines. It's a little fearful with people, but I don't think is a biter. And offer free vaccinations and other basic veterinary care for Alameda and Contra Costa County's homeless dog and cat owners. No. Oh, no. But no. 15 years ago, she thought differently. And my first reaction was... How can you have an animal? You can't take care of yourself. I'll check and see if that's okay. Then she educated herself. First of all, animals are really crucial companions to people, no matter what kind of money you have. Hi, guys. Secondly, people without homes don't necessarily make bad pet owners. Yeah, he needed that. They might make the best pet owners. Like Jordan Trujillo and Scarlett. It means that I can actually have a companion with me and they'll, you know, it's not going to screw me over or leave me or anything, you know. Looks like irritation. Nancy Tejada brought Simba. He was shelter bound, so we intercepted him. We were only supposed to be fostering, but I think he's staying. <laughs> After 10 years of doing this work on her own, All right. in 2011, Jill Posner set up the nonprofit called Paw Fund. Number 11? Now, with the help of 40 to 50 volunteers, the clinics, along with spay and neuter referral, are going strong. And to some, it might seem odd that a vaccination clinic is being run by someone who's afraid of needles. Oh, I don't, I don't go anywhere near needles. Yum, 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 yum. Jill says she's so squeamish she doesn't even watch. Like min pin chihuahua. But she does see what pet owners get out of it. What we see at our clinics is this real sense of accomplishment that they came to our clinics, they did something for their animal. Oh, so cute. And their animal went home healthier. I'm Jill. Yep. Hi. Nice to meet you. Like, and truth be told, Jill's more of a people person anyway, in it for the human connection. And one of the things that I'm aware of, I'm, I'm white, you know, shock. I'm middle class, I'm European, I'm kind of a senior. So there's a hell of a lot of people that I don't have an immediate connection with. <laughs> oh, really? And Paw Fund connects her to the clients while connecting oh, the clients I... to their furry companions. We go home feeling like, wow, we did something good today. Wow, that worked out. Wow, that person really understood, you know, what her animal needed. So for helping keep pets healthy and allowing their owners to keep those animals in their lives, this week's Jefferson Award in the Bay Area goes to Jill Posner. Now, Paw Fund will be adding its first ever staff veterinarian next year when a lab tech volunteer graduates from UC Davis. And eventually, Jill Posner would like to expand Paw Fund, operate across the entire Bay Area. Paw Fund operates solely on private donations. If you'd like to help or nominate your local hero, our website is cbssf.com slash hero.